We're heading back to the Russian Federation. Let's go. Sem Privet. Hello, everybody. I got this fraction from RC Gusto quite a while ago. It seems both of us had went and purchased one of these from one of the consumer markets. I'm not going to exactly say the name of the shop, but we were looking for one of these mountain rations or FSBs like Steve1989 reviewed. And we ordered one and it turned out that the innards were just your standard IRP components. So we were like, oh man. Well, RC reached back out and was able to snag some of these legit FSBs. So let's cut into this thing and try out some of this great stuff. I'll try to show you this label. I've got diet or menu number two. And you can tell that it's the legit one. These are significantly heavier than the other ones that I purchased. And it's simply just a plastic tray. There's nothing else on it except for this decal. We'll get our little Kershaw leak. And let's check this stuff out. Immediately I get that overwhelming Russian cracker smell. And one thing that I want to show you is just because it has an expiry date on there of March of 2017 when you look at the actual ration this is good until May of 2018 so don't be all kind of spazzed out when you're just looking at a date on the outside of the bag well, let's see what we got all right we have goulash with potatoes And it's kasha with beef. Oh, that's I like some more kasha. All right, this one is a wheat kasha with meat. And, and this one is a rice kasha. These are the moist towelettes. One of these is for your hands and one of these is for your gear. Drink mixes. A giant thing of apple butter. And this is a first for me. Every one of these is cherry flavor. Usually get uh, multiple different flavors. Three packets of sugar, 20 grams a piece. It's a meat pate. It says on the back it has some beef in it. Uh, looks like we have like another soup or something. Yep, soup rice with some meat. And you can tell this is definitely for winter consumption because there is an unbelievable amount of calories in this ration. And this is that infamous beef liver, beef brain pate that Steve was talking about during his review. And this is mint sausage. It usually comes in one of the little foil uh, packets, but this time we've got it in a retort pouch. Ah, uh, these are the Flameless ration heaters, of course, five packs of crackers, Oop, got something else hiding there, the stove kit, and of course you've got your paraffin or your heat tablets, matches, this is the multivitamin, this is a sports bar, Five packets of chocolate. Ah, some hazelnut chocolate. Two teas, one thing of coffee, three spoons, a can of cheese. I still have some of this can of cheese residue on the ceiling of my kitchen. Lucky me, huh? And I just looked at this bar. This has prune, apricot, and nuts in it. This is the suggested uh, menu, what you should have with breakfast, lunch, or dinner in their calorie counts. Of course, you have some napkins. This is the packing list to show you when things were made or produced. 
uh, some pepper, some salt, and this is the most purification tablets that I have seen in a rational. Looks like you get six of those. And then lastly, this is one of the foil can piercing tools to help you open up your packets when you're wearing gloves. And looking for everything, I thought everything was a survivor except this. It was definitely fail, but the top should be good, so we'll still give that a little try. I figured we get this stuff prepared, and I'm going to use this exact sheet. And instead of calories, I'm sorry, this is actual grams uh, for each item that uh, you're going to eat. So we're going to break it down by breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And let's get this stuff heated up, or whatever we need to do with it, and get it on the tray. Well, as you can see, this is quite a substantial breakfast. So I know they are following my... Uh, train of logic eat your largest meal in the morning to fuel your body for the rest of the day well the longest thing is going to take of course is our ration heater and heating up our morning meal of kasha so let's get started on this now this kasha is pretty dense in here so what I'm going to do I'm going to break it up with my fingers beforehand to make it a little easier for the contents inside to get heated up because if it's one slab yeah it kind of makes it a little difficult to get everything nice and heated let's take a look at our heater real quick okay basically it just says tear open the top place your kasha or your ration extremely close to this we're going to pour in 100 ml of water and then we're going to seal it with this tape that's included on the outside of the bag Well, that was awesome. We'll just lay this down flat so we have the largest surface area. Add our water. And that is totally immersed in. Fold this over several times. And then we'll take the tape and seal the bag shut. And then we have this. This is a rice cereal, and it's got some dried raisins in here that will reconstitute nice. So you can hear that popping. That's that heater kicking off. So let's grab 90 mil of hot water and get this reconstituted. Looking for a tear notch. Don't quite see one, so I guess we will make our own. Let's add that water. And I'm not going to burn the heck out of myself like last time so I'm going to use this little plastic vessel for that pour that in there we'll give it a little mix with our spoon and to make sure that we retain that heat in there we'll just fold this over once and I'll use one of our trusty finer clips to hold that down okay then we'll make our coffee and our cherry drink That's a lot. And for some reason, this one didn't come with creamer or gum. And this cherry drink calls for 200 mil of water. And you can see that's very crystallized. And so one of the tricks that I've learned is to add just a touch of hot water down at the bottom to help get that sugar to dissolve. Okay, now the basic stuff, we got our spoon down, sugar in case we needed our napkin, two water purification tablets, and of course, this is that multivitamin that they give you for the morning. I have no clue what's inside of it. 
or what vitamins and minerals it produces. So outside of our two hot items in our drinks, it comes with two packs of crackers. So two of the five packs are to be consumed for breakfast. And just so we can say that we did it, so you can see the amount of food, we're going to dump every bit of it on the tray. Maybe if I can open up the package. So that is a significant amount of carbohydrates right off the bat. And then to make these palatable, you get a huge sachet or bag of apple butter. I mean, this thing is 100 grams, so that is a ton. So sliced a little bit off of there, and we'll use some of that shortly. And then you also get some cheese to go along with your crackers. A little oily. See, I heated this stuff up once and I'll never do it again. And lessons learned. And then along with that, you get your <laughs> your beef liver and brain pate. Mm-mm. -mm -mm. And another thing I learned with this is just make sure that you just kind of squish it up. So if there's any oils or anything that's separated, you kind of work them all back together. Take a look in there. It's pretty much just like a paste. See how it smells. <laughs> smells pretty good. Smells kind of salty right off the get-go. Well, we'll set that right there. And then the other thing that you get is two bars of your chocolate. Now, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have some pictures at the end just so you can see <laughs> the effects of Google Translate. It is kind of funny at times. And then, of course, there's a hazelnut spray. We're not going to delve anywhere near the bottom, but this little top part should be... Uh, decent to taste, maybe, looks okay, smells okay, so we'll stick that down here as well. And all of these are to be used with those crackers. Slide the drinks over, got my cherry drink, and my coffee. Alright, that looks pretty good. This is the rice kasha, and it says dried grapes, but they're essentially just raisins. Sure, they're in there somewhere. Let's see if we can find some of them. Oh, there they are, right here. Some nice little golden raisins. Oh, sure, that is going to taste very pleasant. It's almost kind of custardy, kind of rice pudding, kind of in a way. I'm thinking maybe I should have took the instructions out of there, but what the heck? It's too late. These heaters worked extremely well, so let's uh, get our kasha. Those heaters work exceptionally well. This is almost too hot to handle. Get that tear notch. Oh, man, you can see that buckwheat in there, that beef. Oh, this stuff is good. A little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of garlic powder. This stuff is perfect. There's still more in there. And this is only a 250-gram bag of it and it, it looks like there's a ton of it in here and you can see that crushing it up inside of here before you heated it up didn't produce that large single slab coming out it's all nice and fluffy and airy well for the most part and of course if you needed some spices it does come with some salt and pepper but only one sachet of each so you would have to use that sparingly throughout the day well let's give this nice kasha a try and see the generous chunks of meat in there. Now that buckwheat is rehydrated all nice and pretty. Give that a try. This is actually kind of different. Uh, a lot of this kasha, especially coming in foil tins, is kind of greasy. This one is not so much. I think if you tried this stuff in those retort pouches before you uh, did the foil stuff, you might appreciate it a lot more than just going, ah, oh, it's just packed in grease. This is incredibly tasty. And if this came with a little bit of hot sauce, oh, that would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I know the Russians appreciate hot sauce because I just got done sending a bottle of Frank's Red Hot to one of my buddies over there. Let's try our rice porridge. Oh, I got a little bit of the other kasha in there, but let's try that. It's nice and airy and fluffy. The rice is really tender. You can tell, taste the sweetness. 
of these golden raisins. It's called dried grapes on the package, but and then there's like a milk powder in here too that is really sweet. This is more like more like a a rice pudding or a rice dessert. Ah, oh, this is really, really scrumptious. Really good. And then of course you could always use your crackers with your kasha. And that's what a lot of people do. They use these as their eating utensil. And I'm going to grab this cheese real quick. Grab a little bit of this cheese. Kind of try to smooth it out on the cracker. That cheese is pretty good. Tastes like a like a, a processed cheddar. Try our coffee. Yeah, I dumped way too much sugar in that, but this is more like a I don't know sugar coffee. I know how original was that. Okay, let's try the beef liver and brain pate. Looks okay. Looks exactly like liver. Quite a significant amount. Looks okay. Brains! Brains! It just doesn't do it for me. It's got that liver metallic taste and I just cannot... I, I can eat just about anything but for some reason liver just doesn't work for me anymore. Try some of our cherry drink. That's got an odd kind of flavor to it. It's like it has extra sugar in there. It's like slightly tinted cherry sugar water. And of course, let's try some of this apple butter, seeing how we have a ton of it. And this is probably what a majority of your crackers would be eaten with, seeing how there's 100 grams of it. Uh, this stuff is pretty tasty. Yeah, this is always spot on. It has that a little bit of sweetness, but that really nice, sharp apple taste and flavor that you would associate with apple butter and just apples in general. Very, very tasty. And I can see definitely that this would be the way to go instead of kind of really wasting your time doing cheese. But, I mean, you could always mix and match and do everything, add them all together or whatever, but this stuff is good. Well, let's clean up our spoon. Put a little cheese on there so I get a little boat. And we'll get some of our hazelnut paste. That is what it is called in the instructions. And we'll try that on one of our crackers. Mm-hmm. That's really good, too. Uh... I would, I would assume that you would hang on to these. I mean, if it was really cold, you would take them for the energy and the immediate calories. But I would actually probably hang on to these to uh, eat as my mid-morning snack. But seeing how it says it's supposed to be eaten with breakfast, or for breakfast, around breakfast, you can see we have this really nice dark chocolate. No bloom whatsoever. It's perfect. And the chocolate's actually really smooth for dark chocolate. It's not like the kind of break your teeth to, to kind of break these apart. It's probably about medium. It's not too soft, not too tough. Just right the perfect consistency. This is good stuff. And this was breakfast. Let's get lunch going.